It's a fresh new week and in spite of all the happenings over the weekend, we hope that by the end of this you find a spark to keep your spirit moving. Okay, now that said, my name is Bjordan and this is Accelerate News. It would probably have been another weekend elsewhere in the world, but especially for Nigerians, uh, it was a heart-wrenching weekend when the death of veteran artist Sound Sultan was announced. The Jaguajantis Gruna passed away battling a rare form of throat cancer at the age of 44. From Accelerate TV and all of us here, our deepest condolences to the family and friends of Sound Sultan. And uh, you know, we've seen the outpouring of love from everybody. Let's keep the energy going and make sure you reach out to the family as well if you can. Sound Sultan will definitely be missed. Now to get you out of the dark cloud and uh, starting to lift up your spirits, if you haven't seen the movie Black Widow just yet, we're about to give you a reason to head on over and grab a ticket and dash to the nearest film house cinema near you. We had an exclusive chat with, wait for it, O.T. Fagmele, who played the role of Brick Mason and uh, Boy Oh Boy. It was definitely good. Here are the sights and sounds. As promised, we have here on today's news, O.T. Fagmenle. How are you doing, sir? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm great. Thanks for asking. Look, it's fantastic to have you here. Not, it's not um, very often that I get to have a guest on the show, but we're super excited to have you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the man of the hour, fresh off the uh, brand new movie, Black Widow from Marvel. First of all, how does it feel to be a part of the Marvel Universe? I mean, obviously, it's a great honor. It's, it's kind of like one of those dream come true type situations. It's a bit surreal. Um, but, you know, I'm really glad to be a part of it. And also, I think mostly I'm, I'm really glad to be part of that communal experience of movies, which I think the, the world has been missing for so long. I know. Speaking about, you know, the world missing out on that, it took a while for this movie to come out. It got pushed and pushed and pushed. But then again, Marvel is one brand that we can be patient with because they always deliver. Mm -hmm. As an actor, how did that make you feel, you know, knowing that you've created this masterpiece and the world can't wait to see and just having to wait, 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 wait before it got dropped? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's natural to, to sometimes feel a bit of frustration when some... But I try and remind myself as much as possible, just live in the present, you know, be grateful, understand everything happens for a reason, and so especially if you can find a good reason for it. So for me, that was spending time with my family. I got to spend some time with my niece and nephew, my mom. So yeah, it, it, to be honest, it wasn't wasted time. Fair enough. Um, so we're going to talk all about Black Widow today. But before we jump into that, you started out in your career pretty early and not a lot of you know young nigerians or you know people in general find that creative spark especially for like people like me who have very traditional parents um how would you say the experience was honing this talent and the support you got from your family at the time yeah you know i was very lucky both my mom and dad were kind of artistic people anyway even if they weren't involved in the arts directly and so I felt like I had good support there and so I guess at the beginning of my life it was more about exploration. It wasn't like, okay, I'm going to do this because this is going to be my vocation, my calling, my, yeah, yeah. my life. It was more about exploration as a young person and so it just turned out to be something I could make money at as well. <laughs> I love it. Um, you're a very hands-on creative. If you're not acting, you're directing or you're scripting or composing and it, during my research I found that you had some work done with Tiger. Tell me about that. That was a long time ago. But then, you know, you, sh you co-wrote the song on his album. I'm just like, wait, how did, did that happen? Yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a particularly talented musician, but I've, I've been at the right place, right time a few times. And in this instance, there was a friend of mine, Stefano Moses, yeah. who's an amazing singer. And he was getting stuck on this song he was doing with Tiger. So he yeah. called me up. And so I just, you know, we, we, we go back and forth a little bit. We've written a few songs together. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we got this uh, song, Storm, yes. on the Tiger. It's a brilliant, I, I had very small <laughs> to do with it, but I was really proud to be a part of it, yeah. Love it. So before, you know, the huge screen and all of that, you did a lot of work in theater. Um, I don't know how much you've kept up with it, but we have an emerging um, theater scene here as well. What do you think we can do to attract, um, to keep audiences like you attracted to all of the work that is happening here? 
Well, you know, I, I guess you know, my, my mom was involved in the theatre scene two, 20, 30 years ago here. So I think Nigeria's always had quite a vibrant theatre scene. I'm so glad to hear that it's, yeah. it's expanding. I mean, ultimately, I think what I'm most interested in is new artists, artists that challenge power, speak truth to power, which yeah. challenge the assumptions that we have about the way we live life. And I think as long as it's doing that, it's going to be engaging people. I recently watched an interview with uh, an actor who was going to be playing a big role in one of the superhero movies. And the director got to record her reaction when she got the news for you when you got the news that you're going to be a part of this or even when you saw the script what were like your first um first few reactions when you heard the news well i mean when i first got this script to audition for it my first reaction was oh i forget that <laughs> i don't have time because I, I was writing my own script and i just yeah. didn't think i was going to get a part in it so yeah. to be honest i completely dismissed it and uh, I was lucky because the, the lady I was seeing at the time was like, no, 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 you should audition for it. And I was like, I'm not going to get it. And then she was like, do it. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll do it. And so then I did it. And then she was the audition. And she was like, that was rubbish because you didn't practice. <laughs> practice and do it. And I was like, oh, okay, okay fine, I'll do it. And so then I did it. And I was like, actually, that was quite good. And so then I sent it off. And, um, you know, it's a longer story, but yeah, I got the part. The core message for me there is always listen to your heart. <laughs> All right, so how would you, without giving too much away, how would you describe the relationship between your character and Scarlett Joe's character, Black Widow? Well, you know, I guess on, on one level it's kind of like uh, the relationship between Q and Bond, you know, like I, I'm the character who hooks her up with all the gadgets and the goodies that she needs. But there's, a, there's something else going on there, there's a kind of connection, a, a chemistry there, and so it kind of alludes to a past between them. Yeah. Um, we saw this film get shot in very, very interesting sets and scenes. Um, what would you say was like the most challenging part of filming? Uh, I guess, I, you know, to be honest, actually, it was a pretty straight, easy job. You know, when you're working with really good people and you've got a great script, you know, things flow. Now, obviously, you always have to put effort into it, but um, I, I guess probably the hardest thing for me is that I was also writing and directing my own television show, Max, yes. M-A-X-X-X. Yes, yes, yes. And, um, and so, uh, so that was challenging to be able to act on one day and then the second day I'm doing pre-production for my show. So what is the future of your character in the MCU? I mean, it's exciting, but I can't really talk about it. <laughs> super, super, super. All right. Um, so we do know that. So now I'm going to be segueing into the future. Like I said, you're a very hands-on creative. Um, when you're not acting, you're directing, or you're scripting, or you're composing. Where do we see you leaning towards more of in future? Well, I, I really want to continue producing content. You know, I think there's been a big push of diversity in front of the camera, but I think that needs to expand behind the camera. Obviously, Nigeria does an amazing job of that, yeah, yeah. But, um, but that needs... So I, I just want to be part of that and trying to bring new voices to the front. Got it. Um, in our interactions with you, we've come to find that you do come home frequently. Um, and I guess without, you know, it being said to you explicitly, I feel like you might also have some pressure hovering around you to start to... Uh, think of stories that you might want to tell from this side. Um, have those thoughts started to simmer in your mind and where is it tending towards? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, to be honest, it's not really pressure from the outside, it's pressure from the inside. You know, I spent so much of my childhood here. I've got so many core memories here and feelings about Nigeria. So, so yeah, I'm working on a number of projects which are African-based. I love it. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been super fantastic having O.T. Fagbin Lee on our show today. Make sure you head on to cinemas to catch Black Widow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let us know what your thoughts are. Feel free to reach out to us on social media. And don't forget to also... Also follow OT Fagmele on all his socials. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, it's been super exciting. I can't wait to see the movie myself. So um, have fun while you're here and um, stay cool. Thank you, brother. <laughs> you guys know I've got you all the time, right? Well, that is why I will be giving away four tickets to see the Black Widow movie. Now, to win, make sure you tag two people to follow Accelerate TV and comment done in the comment section of this post below once you followed. Uh, so it's the uh, fastest fingers first, get tagging and typing four tickets up for grabs. The Olive and Visa on Arrival are still on and you can binge watch on our YouTube page. Now don't forget to also subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on all social media platforms and share all of our amazing content. Until next time, I'm out. Stay safe and so okay, everybody.